D-backs hosting the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are minus 105 on the money line. The D-backs are minus 115 over under nine runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the D-backs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 185, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last season or this season. The Red Sox are 5-4 and four as a team with Hauk on the mound. They've lost his last three starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 5.1 strikeouts per game in those games. The D-backs are 6-4 and four as a team with Kelly on the mound. They've won his last two starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.9 strikeouts per game in those games. So a batter and inning as well. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 7-3. and three. The road team's won the last three games they've played. The Red Sox have won the last three games they've played against the D-backs. The Red Sox are 8-2 and two against the D-backs in their last 10. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half on the run line, is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the game they played against each other yesterday, and three out of their last four games that they've played against each other. The last three out of their last four. The under is 5-4-1, and one, and the under 9 is 4-3-3 four, three, and three in their last 10 games. The game they played yesterday, the Red Sox won 2-1. to one. The game before that, the Red Sox won 7-2. to Both of those games were this season. The Red Sox are 2-2 two and two in their last 4 and 6-4 and four in their last 10. 4 runs, 10 runs, 9 runs, 3 runs. Shut out and a loss, 3 runs and a loss, 7 runs and a win, 2 runs and a win. The Red Sox have won their last 2 games, like I said. The D-backs have dropped their last... Three games, they are five and five in their last ten, one and three in their last four. Seven runs, eleven runs, nine runs, and three runs. Four runs and a win, five runs and a loss, two runs and a loss, one run and a loss. I'm on the fence with this one because seemingly the Red Sox own the D-backs, but Kelly is probably the one dude who I would pick why I would trust the Diamondbacks to win this game. So I'm gonna take the D-backs with the money line. I am gonna take the Red Sox getting the runs, and I'm gonna go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.